A lot of people make racing sets, but AFX is the closest thing to real racing. Just ask the expert. Talk about real, just listen. Only AFX has Magnasonic cars, the only racing cars with sound. And only AFX has a real electronic timer and lap counter. Only AFX has the sound of real racing. That's why Aurora's the one. AFX from Aurora. It's the closest thing to real racing. A lot of people make racing sets, but AFX Ultra 5 is the closest thing to real racing. Ask the expert. Talk about real. Only Ultra 5 steers like a real racer. With Steericon, you can steer into the pit, steer past other cars, steer around the treacherous breakout wall. And only Ultra 5 has a real electronic timer and lap counter. Ultra 5 steers like a real racer. That's why Aurora's the one. AFX Ultra 5 from Aurora, the closest thing to real racing. Two freewheeling cars on a track with no lanes and no grooves, and you're in for some wild racing. Introducing Accelerators from Aurora, the electric racing set that doesn't need slots. Racing cars that freewheel all over the track, because there's nothing to hold them down. With your Accelerator power stick, give them juice to pass, or try to. Swing out on that curve. The action never lets up, because the transformer plugs right into the wall. The Accelerator Sideswipers race set comes with two freewheeling cars, plus everything you see here. From Aurora. Dynamite dune buggies from Aurora. Fun cars that are really fun because you really drive them with your sand van joystick. And the action doesn't let up because the power pack plugs right into the wall. Sand vans. The red dune set even comes with lights. Each sand van set comes with two vans, dune track, all power equipment from the model motoring division of Aurora. We're for real. How do you put together a thoroughbred? You build from the ground up with super fat race tires for quickness, light chassis for handling, big motor for big muscle. That's how you come up with thoroughbreds like these. Brand new Aurora factory experimentals. AFX. Cars that take a little getting used to. You've got to get used to the way they accelerate when you hit the trigger. To the way they slow down when you let off. CAFX cars don't just run around a track. You drive them with your pistol grip power stick. And when you get good enough, you race them. And AFX action doesn't let up, because your power pack plugs right into the wall. 
you can collect all the AFX cars, separately or in racing sets. AFX sets come with two cars, track, power equipment, from the model motoring division of Aurora. We're for real. A lot of people make racing sets, but AFX Ultra 5 is the closest thing to real racing. Ask the expert. Talk about real. Only Ultra 5 steers like a real racer. With Steericon, you can steer into the pit, steer past other cars, steer around the treacherous breakout wall. And only Ultra 5 has a real electronic timer and lap counter. Ultra 5 steers like a real racer. That's why Aurora's the one. AFX Ultra 5 from Aurora. The closest thing to real racing. The action's fast and exciting with Aurora's AFX Twister race set. A Woolworth and Woolco exclusive for $15.97. Plug in and they're off with Magna Traction gripping power to hug those curves. And now tracks and controls are color-coded. Laps are counted automatically and there's a safety wall pack. Racing thrills for the whole family with the AFX Twister. Priced at $15.97 exclusively at Woolworth and Woolco. This is a new racetrack set, the end result of tens of thousands of man-hours of painstaking research and engineering. Its name, the Johnny Lightning Rocket 500. Its purpose, speed. We started with last year's 500, still a great track, with scale speeds reaching 300 miles per hour. But for the 500 to become the Rocket 500, we had to go four times faster than was previously considered possible. We did it. The incredible new Rocket 500 races at scale speeds actually exceeding 1,200 miles per hour. Watch closely. This track is 30 feet long. Want to guess how long it takes this Johnny Lightning car to cover this track? 1.8 seconds. Hard to believe? Look again. 1.8 seconds. This is speed that gets into your blood with a feeling of exhilaration and excitement like nothing you've ever felt before. Once they start racing, it's difficult for boys and men alike to tear themselves away. And it'll happen to you. Look, with the Rocket 500, you hit the throttles as hard as you want. Harder. Harder yet. No wipeouts. The harder you hit, the faster you go. Here are the individual sets. The Le Mans, a deluxe track with all the thrills of a real Grand Prix circuit. Bank turns, lightning straightaways, it's dynamite. The Cyclone, with this never-before-possible climb of a sheer vertical cliff face. Watch it in slow motion. Actually traveling 90 degrees straight up. There's never been a track like this before. The Indy, raw speed in action and speed is the name of the game. The Can-Am. The first relay track ever made. Your partner starts the race, zooming your car around, and you take over. The better team wins. The Le Mans, the Cycle, the Indy, the Can-Am. Four Rocket 500 tracks in all. So new, so different, they make all previous sets obsolete. 1970 is a Johnny Lightning year. The greatest racing drivers in America will be telling the story of the Rocket 500 on TV and in store demonstrations. Mario Andretti, A.J. Foyt, Al Unser, Bobby Unser, Parnelli Jones, Roger McCluskey, Billy Vukovich, and real Johnny Lightning racers, driven by Al Unser and Parnelli Jones, painted with the Johnny Lightning lightning bolt, have been entered in this year's Indianapolis 500 and other major races, and will be going for the big money, and watched by tens of millions on TV. With all this publicity, television, radio, newspaper, and magazine coverage, Johnny Lightning will be the biggest name in racing. And to top it all, a massive $5 million Johnny Lightning TV advertising campaign guarantees that every boy in America will get the word that the Rocket 500 makes all other racers look like they're standing still, even electric sets costing more than $50. Remember... When they race, boys don't want to be losers. Boys want to be winners. And they can be winners only with the new Rocket Flyer from Copper. TCR Crossfire Racing. Only possible on the wide open track. 
for the first time, two loops connected by four lanes of no man's land called Crossfire Alley. To win this race, you must stay on the suicide loop and risk a head-on collision with a jam car. So every lap becomes a countdown of nerves, speed, and lane-changing skill. And only TCR's got it. TCR Crossfire Racing, wide open racing from ideal. The System TCR Total Control Racing, now America's number one slotless racing system for a lot of good reasons, like the jam car, a moving obstacle that constantly circles the track. Watch it again. But being number one meant we couldn't stop there, so we brought to the racing world band sets, truck sets, pro -ams, formulas, even double jam car sets. Everyone still tops in its class. This year, with the Glow Charger Tunnel, we're leaving the competition in the dark. Watch it in slow motion. Every lap charges your car for a super neon experience. And just when you thought you were in total control, there's the super lane-changing jam. It's totally out of your control. Changing lanes at will. It's the ultimate test of your passing skills. This is the system. T. C.R. Total Control Racing from Ideal. by battery, clean scrubs and dries your car automatically. Mr. Kelly's automatic car wash, what a toy. From a hidden tank, fill overhead water tower, hook on car, throw switch, and automatically cars are wet down, scrubbed all over, and dried while you watch. Mr. Kelly's car wash comes with two late model cars, car wax, towels, sponges, and even a sign. Hey, Mr. Kelly, clean my car like new. Mr. Kelly's car wash lets you wax them too. Every boy wants a Remco toy, and so do girls. The other night, my son and I really fought it out, man to man. You see, we got this new model car racing set called Class A Open Track Racing. Open track means there are no slots, no lanes. Cars can pass on either side, bump, even sideswipe. But this requires split-second control. Class A racing doesn't need batteries or electricity. You gotta make pit stops to pick up your power. Well, with only seven laps to go, I pulled off the track. But Gary ignored my advice and gambled on finishing without making a final pit stop. I was back on the track in five and a half seconds. Good time. But Gary had gained a lap lead. Then, coming into his last lap, he ran out of power and was just coasting. I picked up a full lap and caught him right on the finish line. Class A racing. No slots, no lanes, and it doesn't need batteries or electricity. It's ideal. It isn't easy showing you the Aurora McLaren, or the Aurora Indy Special, or the Aurora Six-Wheeler, because they go at scale speeds over five times faster than the real thing. Aurora AFX Model Racing, the fast ones. From Gilbert Autorama comes the excitement and competition of the famous Indianapolis Speedway, featuring the exclusive new Gilbert Flyover Chicane. Watch the stock cars in slow motion. Up. 
and go. Gilbert makes cars rugged enough to take this kind of punishment. And look at the great assortment of Gilbert cars to choose from. The roughest, toughest, most realistic cars on the road. Past the timer, through the lap counter. Now with stock cars up to the Gilbert flyover chicane. Only this time, in midair, the cars change lanes. And look, just like that, your Gilbert car track can become a horse race track with these exclusive lively trotters. Get all these Indianapolis Speedway extras separately and be sure to get your complete Gilbert Autorama layout. Look at Gilbert toys first. They last. Speed up. Slow down. You're in control all the way. The name of the car, AFX Aurora Factory Experimentals. You control them on the Monza Spider race set with this electric speed control. Give it the juice on the straightaway. Slow down on the curves. Keep racing them lap after lap. The Monza Spider race set comes with two AFX cars, controllers, tracks, and safety wall power pack from Aurora. Race car driver Peter Revson talks to parents. Monte Carlo, where racing reputations have been made and lost. I think it's one of the most exciting race courses in the world. And this is the excitement of Monte Carlo in miniature, a three-level spiral hill climb in Aurora's Monte Carlo AFX race set. With cars you and your kids can drive with electric speed controllers to go fast, to go slow. With cars you can control, Aurora's AFX Monte Carlo race set. You just can't get any closer to real racing. Race car driver Peter Revson talks to parents. Famous bank curve at Daytona. I think it's one of the most challenging curves in the American racing circuit. Daytona. Aurora has caught the spirit of it in this AFX Daytona race set. With cars you and your kids can actually drive with electric speed controllers to go fast, to go slow. With cars you can control on the bank S curve. The AFX Daytona race set. You just can't get any closer to real racing. In America, on the track and on the drag strip. And Aurora has a race set that combines the two with cars you can control. AFX National Speedsters, classic touring cars that you can change into mean-looking dragsters. And a track that changes into a drag strip, ten and a half feet long. Take it from Peter Revson and get the racing set that gives you two ways to race. The AFX National Speedsters from Aurora. AFX is racing. We conquered the straightaway, the curve, the ramp, and now there's nowhere to go but up into a new dimension with Laser 2000 cars and sets. A kind of racing you didn't know existed. Cars so fast, you can't believe they'll hold the road. Laser 2000. Cars so fast, they'll have you climbing a wall to race when none have ever raced before. Laser 2000. The racing cars and sets of the future are here now. AFX is racing for you and your kids with Laser 2000 racing cars and sets from Aurora. What would you trade for a new 71 Superfast? What would you trade for the supercharged Rat Rod? What would you trade for this fabulous Formula One? If you've got a used car, trade it in now and get a great deal on these Superfast racers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They won't take your old wheels and trade for Superfast. Yes, they will. No, well, they won't. Yes, we will take your old wheels. Trade in any used or broken car and cut the price to 59 cents for a 71 Superfast. Superfast by Matchbox. Parents, AFX has the look of real racing. Lighted cars for real night racing, plus incredible magnet traction cars that grip the road like real. With AFX, you not only get exciting sets, you get incredibly authentic cars, including the sensational G-Plus, Aurora's fastest. So when your kids want to add to their road racing sets, they want AFX. AFX, for the Bye, Aurora. From Television 8 in Cleveland, this is City Camera News with Jeff Maynard, Jim Hale, Dick Goddard, and Fred McLeod for Jim Mueller.
Good evening, everybody. Or is it? I hope you are someplace right now that is safe and that is warm. The weather we have gone through since early this morning and will content continue to experience throughout the weekend in northern Ohio is the worst weather that most of us will ever see. It is by far the most severe winter of this century. The blizzard hit right at the rush hour this morning. The bitterly cold wind whipped in at more than 50 miles an hour. Several inches of snow came along with it. And the 24-degree temperature at 9 a.m. had dropped by noon to a minus 2. As commuters quickly found out, driving was an absolute nightmare today. At times, visibility was non-existent, and one could count the stalled cars and the accidents by the thousands. The governor alerted the National Guard. Many units right now are at work. The shoreway was closed for a time. Part of it still is. A blizzard warning remains in effect, and for the hours ahead, there's going to be very little change in our weather situation. If you are someplace safe and warm, stay there. If you must venture out, again, be warned that the conditions are as bad in the northern Ohio area as they will ever be. State officials are keeping very close tabs on what's going on. Jeff, there was another call today from the governor. This morning, the governor asked uh, all non-essential businesses and offices in the state to close at noon or sooner and to let their employees start on the way home. So some people who struggled for hours through the morning rush got to work and turned right back around again and headed home. The governor's request had the effect of staggering the times of homeward commuting, so this afternoon we did not see quite the monumental jam-ups that had happened in the morning. And many factories, uh, the gas cutbacks already crimping their production, closed early for the weekend today. This was the scene at TRW in Euclid. And some factories dismissed their employees at staggered times to help keep the traffic moving. As always, the Easter pa eastern part of Greater Cleveland, the snow belt, was hard hit today. Our city cam team spent part of this memorable day out in the area of Route 306 around Mentor, Kirtland, Willoughby Hills, and Waite Hill. And the video here pretty much tells the story. Although no National Guard units are on rescue missions in our area, they are in other parts of the state. The men are using bulldozers and graders to free cars and trucks and to clear roads that are completely impassable. There's always the danger of those installed cars running out of gasoline, and that means heat, and that's what the National Guard is working to prevent. Some communities have water problems this evening, too, and here, too, the Ohio Guard is at work. And as you would imagine, some people have made it to the warmth and relative security of their homes, but not in their own cars. Five cars are marooned here in more than five feet of snow. Two tow trucks tied, tried for several hours to get the cars out of here, but finally gave up. And the owners are going to have to come back and try again. Mm -hmm. so These drivers were lucky. There were people around to help then, but that will not. Again, be sure you have a full tank of gas in case you're stranded and have to wait for help. Kathy Engel and Donna Gross are two young women who work in downtown offices. They set out for work this morning, but they didn't make it. And they had to leave their car at the front end of that terrible shoreway traffic jam. We were coming down the freeway and the blizzard started and we couldn't see a thing. And so we got behind this bus because we figured the bus would get down here, but it didn't either. So it got stuck and then we got stuck and everything was all jammed up. And then the tow truck got stuck when it was trying to pull us out. And then we jammed up the whole freeway and we started the whole thing. <laughs> Where's the car now? I don't know. I just saw a tow truck taking it. I don't know where they took it to, though. I think they took it over to the marina over there. Kathy and Donna are in good spirits, considering they were stranded on the freeway for five hours. Then they made it here to the Howard Johnson's at the Shoreway in East 55th, where they played pool and kept warm until some friends came to take them home. Well, in addition to travelers stuck by stalled cars, those trying to get out of Cleveland by air today found it no-go. Hopkins Airport closed shortly after 11 this morning, but effectively had been closed long before that. United Air Canada, American and Northwest have all canceled flights through the early part of this evening. Some incoming planes have landed, but getting out is another matter. The windblown snow is the problem, we're told. As soon as a runway, a taxiway, or a ramp is cleared, it's almost immediately covered again. Well, Dick told us last night that the weekend was shaping up as the toughest three days of the winter, and it certainly started out that way. Right now, Dick is out in it with the latest word on what's headed this way. Dick? Well, Jeff, it is now six below zero in Cleveland, uh, and uh, we had a wind chill factor at one time today, about two o'clock, that was 61 below zero, and the current wind chill is running around 50 uh, below. 
we've had winds as high as 52 miles an hour here. This air that is over us now on Monday was over the North Pole. Now, that is not hard to believe. The problem tonight will not be new snow, nor will it be new snow tomorrow, yet uh, some uh, flurries can be expected. It is simply the blowing, drifting snow and temperatures that will be, uh, in many cases, setting new all-time records. And many of the ski areas in Ohio, I understand, are closed. It's too cold. This is Data Race, the world's only computerized road racing system. Program laps. Start the countdown. Speed counts, but the faster you go, the more fuel you burn. Fuel's low and into the bits. Is 60 gallons enough? Seconds count. Only six laps to go. Clip a second off your best time and you win. He miscalculated. He's out of fuel. You win. Data Race. Wow. From Aurora AFX, the closest thing to real racing. You are about to see something incredible from Tyco. Silver Streak Curve Huggers now defy gravity as they hang on through Tyco's new double loops. But that's not all. Turn out the lights. See the headlights go on. Watch the whole set glow in the dark for real night racing. And light up your youngster's face. Night glow. Double loop racing. From Tyco, of course. They're here. Zero gravity clap hangers. Because you race them upside down. Plummeting through the giant loop as you reach for new speeds and use your skill to master the death-defying spiral and blast up the walls of zero gravity. And then, back into the giant loop. You make your final move now to take the lead and win. Zero gravity cliffhangers. It's all in how you look at it. New from Tyco, of course. Now test your Motorific cars on the Motorific Torture Track. Motorific Torture Track. Motorific Torture Track. Crash test. Motorific Torture Track. Steering test. Motorific Torture Track. Power test. Motorific Torture Track. Shock test. Motorific Torture Track. Spring test. Motorific meets the test. It's easy. No wires. And all Motorific cars fit the Motorific Torture Track. 18 different models to choose from. You only need one chassis, one motor. Bodies are interchangeable. Test them. Go! Get Motorific Torture Track. Complete with all tests and one Motorific car. You can add extra cars, too. Motorific Torture Track. Motorific Torture Track. It's ideal! This is model car racing, the most popular indoor hobby sport in America today. The cars you're watching now are Thunder Jets by Aurora. They're only about two inches long. That's HO scale. The next size up is 132nd scale, much bigger. HO gives you twice the action in half the space. Look. Cobblestone track, pump track, Squeeze track. Super Looper. Thunder bikes. The control of these cars is in your hands. You barrel down the straightaways, but watch those curves. Joe Scale, Model Motoring, by Aurora. All this excitement comes in this package. If we still haven't convinced you to go H.O., then by all means go to the larger scale. We make that too.
Computer Control Center from Tyco, of course. This is Tyco Championship Pro Racing with four-speed stick shift. Shift to control speed on the high bank turn. You control the speed of your car with a four-speed stick shift. Shift for passing. Automatic lap counter. Shift for climbing. The race depends on how you shift. And there's the winner's flag. I win! Championship Pro Racing with stick shift controls, lap counter, and electric power pack from Tyco. From the outer reaches of imagination, the ultimate racing challenge for your kids is here. New Daredevil Cliffhangers. Cars race toward the wall. And up. And over. They race upside down, defying gravity. They whip through the giant loop, and now they jump. And keep right on racing. It's thrill-packed. It's exciting. It's sensational. Daredevil Cliffhangers for your kids. By Tyco, of course. The System TCR Total Control Racing, now America's number one slotless racing system for a lot of good reasons, like the Jam Car, a moving obstacle that constantly circles the track. Watch it again. But being number one meant we couldn't stop there, so we brought to the racing world band sets, truck sets, pro amps, formulas, even double Jam Car sets. Everyone still tops in its class. This year, with the Glow Charger Tunnel, we're leaving the competition in the dark. Watch it in slow motion. Every lap charges your car for a super neon experience. And just when you thought you were in total control, there's the super lane-changing jam. It's totally out of your control. Changing lanes at will. It's the ultimate test of your passing skills. This is the system. T. Z R Total Control Racing from Ideal. Stompers! Stomper fun by fours with raw power to tackle just about anything you throw their way. And come four-wheel driving back for more. And more. Battery not included. Change tires and tackle the tough outdoors. Headlights blazing the way. Wheels turning and churning. Pulling you up to the action. Stomper, fun by fours, first in four-wheel fun. Each sold separately from Chopper. TCR Crossfire Racing, only possible on the wide open track. For the first time, two loops connected by four lanes of no man's land called Crossfire Alley. To win this race, you must stay on the suicide loop and risk a head-on collision with a jam car. So every lap becomes a countdown of nerves, speed, and lane-changing skill. And only TCR's got it. TCR Crossfire Racing. Wide open racing from Ideal. Tyco presents the America 500 Red, White, and Blue Racing Set. 30 feet of track. Red, white, and blue racing cars. Race against the clock with the automatic lap timer. Two speed controls. Your skill keeps them on the track because you control the speed of the racing cars. The lap timer automatically times your red, white, and blue car up to four laps. And the winner! Tyco America 500 Pro Racing Set with red, white, and blue racing cars and electric power pack. Stomper, fun by fours, with raw power to tackle just about anything you throw their way. And come four-wheel driving back for more. And more. Battery not included. Change tires and tackle the tough outdoors. Headlights blazing the way. Wheels turning and churning, pulling you up to the action. Stomper! Stomper, fun by fours, first in four-wheel fun. Each sold separately from Chopper. <laughs> 